Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the inaugural episode of Sit and Chat with AJ. This is just a working title, just to be clear, I haven't decided what the actual titles of these videos are going to be. Um, but, you know, in case you have a good idea about what I should name these, then, you know, leave something in the comment section. And um, today we'll just sit and chat about something. And, you know, I kind of figured, like, I will give you some kind of an update about, you know, why I've not posted as much content as I have recently. So first of all, um, just to clear this out, I'm this is kind of a hobby for me. Um, I like posting videos, I enjoy teaching other people how to uh, play World of Tanks better, and uh, it pays me nothing, honestly. Um, I could have probably worked at McDonald's and probably made like, I don't know, like 9 or 10 times as much money as, no, probably 100 times as much money as um, you know, I have made through YouTube. Uh, just to be clear, it's only $14 that I made of uploading 139 videos. Oh, sorry, 30, uh, 35 videos and counting. So, um, the amount of time that goes into like making some of these kind of depends on sort of like the format of the video. Some take longer, some take uh, not as long. So, um, in all, I probably have spent an hour on each video, and so if you Fact factor than and I've probably you know worked uh, 133 hours. So if I'd gone to the local McDonald's who was paying ten dollars an hour, I'm probably gonna make one thousand three hundred thirty dollars, which would be about a hundred times as much money that I would make, uh, you know, uploading these things. So um, there was that. Secondly, I'd moved. I kind of had, had alluded to in one of my videos, and uh, God, moving is like the worst thing anybody can do, and. Once you like stay in one place for long enough, you don't realize how much stuff you actually gathered, and all of it is never useful, um, and that makes it just absolutely like, oh my god, it makes it like so much harder when you move. In a kind in a in a roundabout of a way, it's kind of a nice thing to do, just because um, you um, have to get rid of a lot of your stuff once you move. So. There was that. Um, nextly, um, we I didn't have internet for a little bit, uh, and uh, that kind of like factored in as well. And then a bunch of stuff came out that I actually did want to spend my time playing. Chief um, Pong amongst which is um, Diablo 3's new season launched, and I'm a huge Diablo 3 fan. Um, I um, before there was like on the new expansion, the old expansion, I had gotten everything to max tier, did almost everything I could. Um, new expansion came out, I was more happy, seasons I love, because it gives me something to do in Diablo 3 all over again. And this time I kind of decided I'm going to make a hardcore character, because I've almost done everything in this hardcore that, you know, you could ask for. Um, so I started a hardcore character, and needless to say, I died a couple of times, nearly, like not actually died, but pretty close to dying, and gave me like a heart attack, and a newfound respect for people who play these games on hardcore. Um, on the flip side, now that I think about like the class I chose, I wish I had chosen something different, but then I don't do much research into these things. I just pick and play whatever I feel like playing. Uh, so I played uh, in this uh, playthrough, I played through a sorcerer. I generally like, change classes every year, or sorry, every season. I generally play two different classes in every season. So this time I played a softcore monk and a hardcore wizard were the two uh, of my options. And uh, I've gotten all of the cosmetic items that I wanted, and uh, you know, and then some. I'm just trying to perfect the build that I had on the wizard. Um, and uh, unfortunately, it's not really easy, just because some of the one of the sets for the wizard is not really that good. And the other one is really OP once it passive works properly. More often than not, it doesn't. But I've been using that, and I've sort of like found a way to make that work. Um, I'll upload a video one of these days uh, just to show you how that set works. And uh, for those of you who are Diablo nerds out there, by the way. Um, and then the last set is just too complicated in how it works, um, is what I will say. And I just, just couldn't be bothered trying that set, especially since the current set just works so well. Especially for like what I'm trying to do, which is like basically um, farm and torment nine and ten, and um, so between that um, and 
you know, I pre-ordered Overwatch. By the way, I don't pre-order a lot of games, but Overwatch was the only exception this year, and probably was probably going to be the only exception this year, just because Overwatch is, from what I played, a really fun game to play, and um, I liked all the classes. I, I enjoyed the art style. Blizzard Journey has a good uh, Journey makes really good, solid games, and I kind of got a taste of playing it in open beta, and then I kind of pre-ordered it, which is kind of nice. I enjoyed playing. Uh, Overwatch, um, but I haven't played it as much because the third game I was playing while I was not playing World of Tanks is Armor Warfare. Now, just to give you sort of like a history, not a history, just to give you some of my background, I, I'm basically uh, a son of two um, people who worked for the army uh, in Pakistan. So my father was uh, is a retired colonel, and my mom's a retired. Um, dentist from the army and so I'm basically an army brat uh, growing up and uh, sort of like watching your father like you know uh, sort of like uh, maybe I shouldn't say sort of like a lot but I'll try but watching father um, in that profession sort of like gives you an affinity for for the army and like the military equipment and so when I was younger I got really into like military equipment and stuff like that so I, I know kind of a lot about a lot of things as far as military is concerned um, not because I'm part of it just because you know I live on the periphery of it and it was so enticing when I was growing up that it's kind of hard not to be interested um, so you know I know a lot about tanks uh, not as much about World War II tanks until I started playing World of Tanks um, but I knew a lot about modern tanks like the T90s, the Armadas, and the M1A2s, the um, you know the PL01s, and all these other like tanks that are, exist across the world. I knew more about them than I do about World War II. Um, my first love is always airplanes. Um, I know more about airplanes, World War II, and afterwards than I ever like can hope to like accumulate knowledge about any other subject uh, in my lifetime. Uh, Planes just fascinated me when I was younger, even though my father was in the army. So, um, so I know a lot about planes, uh, both old. Like, I don't have quite extensive knowledge about World War One planes, but I have quite the extensive knowledge about World War Two planes and also um, modern planes like the uh, you know Joint Strike Fighter uh, J thirty five or F thirty five. It's it's not eh, it's designation. The SU 30s, the so all of those planes I know a fair bit about um, more than anybody should know, honestly, about any subject matter because they're kind of useless. You know, it's not like you're gonna um, go into like uh, your local, not your local office. Uh, I mean, when you're working, it's not like you're gonna strike up a conversation with the F 35 with your friend unless he's really into hardcore into these things. Um, then, so I've been playing a lot of armored warfare. Uh, there was a special one which was giving you times five for every win that you had this weekend for your first win. So um, I did that, and I got to tier six in um, in armor warfare, which is really nice because um, I was kind of hovering about tier four and five-ish on a lot of tanks, and just gave me the extra boost to sort of get into like tier uh, six tanks, and uh, I was really appreciative. Um, and then I also got this bundle, which gave you all the premium tanks in in the uh, armor warfare. So it was kind of fun playing and messing around with all these tanks that I've uh, seen other people play. So kind of extra hooked for that. So hopefully, um, just to be clear, on the NA server, like the PVP is kind of dead. So you cannot get into a PVP game um, most of the time. But in the you can always find a PVE game pretty easily. Um, and that's where I've been playing predominantly. I play PVE games. I listen to some of my podcasts, and you know, just, just you know, trying to unwind, like playing something that's not competitive. Sort of like uh, makes me not as frustrated with the game, if that makes sense. Uh, but hopefully, you guys enjoy whatever this is. Uh, I'll just name it, you know, sit and chat with AJ for now, unless somebody else can come up with a better. Um, name for this series and I'll try to make it at least once a week uh, and so you know you guys can um, be sort of like kept up with whatever I'm thinking or whatever I'm doing and I will see you on the next episode or whatever I'm gonna do because honestly I just don't know at this point.